So today I'm going to teach you about inheritance. I'm going to make a new object, a new type of object. Uh, that's going to be a pit bull object. But wait, isn't a pit bull a dog? Yes. And so that's why pit bull is going to basically inherit everything from dog. So we're going to go extends dog. Okay, so pit bull is just a dog now. And we're going to add a constructor, and it's going to have the same constructor. We can give it some different stuff if we like. Uh, so, I don't know, we can give this one a color instead. Uh, so string color. However, it's still a type of dog. Okay? It's it can kind of be confusing. Okay, but, you know, you might be asking yourself, well, what's the point if it's a kind of dog? Why don't I just make it a separate object? Some special methods for some certain breeds or whatnot. Uh, so I don't know, dig. But yeah, sometimes even even if you do have various different breeds, you want to be able to look at all the dogs that you have in like a list or some sort. Basically, in summary, this is important, but you don't see it yet. Um, but yeah, uh, all all the methods like the, you know all the getters and setters, all the methods from here and shit, uh, they will work here. You know that they are there. They exist. You just can't see them, but they exist, and you can add any additional methods that you need to, whatnot. But yeah, that, 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 that that's pretty much it. We're almost at game development. Just like three more tutorials left, or whatnot, and then we can actually start making a game. Sounds awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastically brilliant day. Bye bye. Now.